government? You one of them agents? Sure, son. <clears throat> Why you ask? Did you work with a man named Edgar Ross? I have something for it. Edgar Ross? No. Well, I knew of him. A fine man, one of his others. Won himself a chest full of metal. I think he went and retired about a year ago. Last I heard, him and his wife moved out to a cabin on Lake Don Julio. Lucky guy, getting to take it easy. He's fighting crime in this dump, that's for sure. <clears throat> Thank you for the information, mister. Excuse me, ma'am. Hello, young man. Hi. What are you doing out here? Are you out visiting the lake with your family? Uh, no, ma'am. I was looking to deliver a letter to Edgar Ross. That husband of mine. That bureau just won't get its talons out of him, even though he's retired. Edgar gave him some of the best years of his life. They ought to let him retire in peace. I'm not rest till they've killed him with worry. And He's such a sensitive man. Sorry, I shouldn't get so angry. I don't suppose any of this is your fault. There's no need to worry about him nowadays. Well, where is he? He and his brother Philip went hunting on the south side of the San Luis River. Be careful crossing over. They were saying it was dangerous. I sure will, ma'am. Don't worry about a thing. I'm sure your husband will be just fine.
Hey there, mister. How's the hunting? Looking pretty good, son. Got me a few rabbits, coyote, elk. Still looking for some trophies for the parlor. Well, I've got a letter here from Edgar Ross. You know him? I, I heard he was down in the cart. Why, well, I know him as my brother. Coming down the river, duck hunting. That'd be a pretty important letter. I'll come all this way. Uh, yes, sir. Real important. I'll be on my way home as soon as I deliver this message. Let's be off then. Just don't get on his bad side. He's a filthy temper. like a dog, and I'll shoot you like one too, you little piece of trash. Now get out of here before I kill you as well. I ain't going nowhere, old man. <laughs> 